Hi there. Hi, it's Helen and Dave at Lighthouse Tai Chi with another one of your questions answered. Mm -hmm. And this time we were asking, ask good. <laughs> okay, three, <laughs> three, two, one. Hi there. Hi, it's Helen and Dave at Lighthouse Tai Chi with another one of your questions answered. And the question this time was, what is the microcosmic orbit and what does it do? Mm -hmm. So in brief, the microcosmic orbit is a circulation of chi up the back and down the front of the body that creates a continuous loop of energy and feeds into different parts of the body for your health and well-being. Um, the back channel is called the Do channel and the front channel is called Ren. So this energy flows up the Do channel over the top of the head to just below the tip of the nose. And this is why your tongue should touch the back of your top front teeth on mm -hmm. the hard palate to connect it to the Ren channel that comes back down the front. So when we're doing our Qigong or Tai Chi or a meditation, we try to keep these channels connected and we can lead the Qi with the mind through that circuit. Okay, so that's in brief what it does. So expanding on that, there are a couple of sort of diagrams, representations, which we'll see quite often. One of them, which we're going to show you now, would be called the Nei Jing Chu. So this is a artistic representation of the internal workings of the body in an artistic fashion. There's lots of information in there, but one key thing to look at is the spine is represented as a row of mountains or a range of mountains with a river flowing up it. Okay, and for a more simplified view, expanding again what Helena was saying before, showing the Do channel and the Ren channel on the actual circuit itself, we'll put that up now, is that you know a simplified diagram which will show the flow. I mean, the flow rises up the back, up the Do channel, over the top of the head, down the front, down the Ren channel, looping into the Dan Tien. So again, there is a lot to sort of absorb from these diagrams and uh, you don't have to be a Chinese traditional medicine person to make your microcosmic orbit happen. That, if, you, yeah. if you do have access to an acupuncture chart or something like that from Chinese medicine book, you will see GV, which is governing vessel, and the points along that, that is the do channel. And the Ren channel is represented as CV, which is the conception vessel. So the idea is the energy is flowing between all those points and that sort of smooth, fluid motion of chi around the body is what you're aiming for. So if you have blockages at certain points, that's where they'd put a needle in to try and release that blockage or apply pressure if it's acupressure. So the idea is if you can get a sensation or an awareness of that circuit in the body as you are doing your Tai Chi, then you will have achieved something pretty amazing. Mm, it is. <laughs> okay. It's very, very um, important. I know the first time I, I felt Chi flowing through that, we were doing some Chen practice and it, it just sort of fired me up is the only way I can mm. describe it. And then I, I spent another six months trying to get it back again. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you'll feel it and then it'll go and it'll come back. But it is happening all the time. Yeah. So don't get too hung up about, oh, I've not felt it yet. Or how do I make it happen quicker? It will happen when it happens. OK, the best thing to do is work on your posture, work on your breathing, having that awareness of your body. And once everything's just right, it happens automatically anyway. And with any Qigong, you should never force energy around the body or into specific parts or whatever. As soon as you start forcing anything, you're going to create a lot of tension. Mm. And that's counterproductive to what we're trying to achieve with Tai Chi and Qigong anyway. Um, but having that awareness can help a lot with focusing the mind mm -hmm. so that your mind doesn't wander off. Um, and staying in the moment with, with the work that you are doing. And it is called Qi Gong. Gong means work, mm. and it is hard work. It it's, is. <laughs> it's mentally challenging as well as physically. So we hope that sort of gives you an idea, and with the pictures we've shown, what it is, where it is, and what it does. Yeah. So hopefully, like I say, very brief overview, just to give some base level information. So I hope you enjoyed that. So give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll 
answer more questions in the future. So thank you very much for watching. Bye now. Bye.